In Japan, at least 43 people are dead as a result of two quakes that hit Japan's southwestern region, first on Thursday night, another one again on Saturday morning. Then hours later, a powerful, even more powerful, devastating earthquake struck Ecuador, magnitude 7.8 to be exact, claiming the lives so far of more than 350 people. Let's go to CNN correspondent Boris Sanchez. He is on the seas, see, on the scene live in Ecuador. So, so Boris, you see these quakes so soon after each other. Does the quake in Japan and the one in Ecuador, uh, any possibility they're connected? Uh, it is simply too early to say with certainty, Jim. There's a lot of research in the area of something called remote triggering. Keep in mind, both of these places, Japan and Ecuador, are on that Pacific Rim, that ring of fire where there are volcanoes and seismic activity. The research is still in its infancy to figure out whether or not what happens in one area may affect another. So it still may be some time before we find out whether or not these quakes were directly linked. I do want to paint a picture of what's going on behind me, though. This is an area of Ecuador called Manta. It's not far from the epicenter of the quake. The building behind me used to be a beauty shop and an optics store. And neighbors tell us there was a couple that lived inside that they believe were trying to escape when the quake first hit. The belief is that they got stuck in a stairway and did not make it out. The neighbor that was telling us about this is actually now living on the street because he can't get back into his apartment. It's simply unsafe. Scenes like this one playing out all over Ecuador, a country that has a long road to recovery. The desperate search for life continues here on the west coast of Ecuador. Now, a race against time as rescuers dig through debris and families pray their missing loved ones will not be part of the growing death toll. Hundreds of people have died since Saturday's devastating 7.8 magnitude quake. According to tweets from Ecuador's government, 120 rescuers from Mexico and 53 from Cuba arrived before dawn today to offer aid. Teams from Colombia, Spain and Chile are expected as well. The task before them, immense. Drone video from Puerto Viejo shows the tops of buildings leaning precariously. Ecuador's president, Rafael Correa, toured some of the troubling scenes this morning, posting photos to his official Twitter account. The resources have arrived. The whole country is mobilized. This is an enormous tragedy. Six coastal provinces are in states of emergency. No doubt the road ahead is uncertain for entire communities here, where livelihoods and neighborhoods were crushed in an instant. The other big question here is the death toll. Earlier today, it sat at 272. This afternoon, the Minister of Security told us it is inching toward 350, but that's not an official number. That's a ballpark figure, and it is sadly expected to climb, Jim.